Hi and welcome. In this video, I want to answer the question, how can I make my rotator cuff injury heal quicker? So the first thing is understanding what exactly is the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is four muscles that surround the shoulder. They control and stabilize the head of the humerus. The humerus is the arm bone that comes in and forms the outside of the shoulder. The four muscles that control that make up the rotator cuff. And so when we're talking about a rotator cuff injury, it's important to understand, are we talking about a rotator cuff tear? Typically one of those muscle tendons will be torn or frayed. Are we talking about something related to um, the musculature or the connective tissue around the rotator cuff? Often people will hear the term bursitis. It's an inflammatory process of the bursa. The bursa is a fluid filled sac that sits underneath the bony ridge on top of the shoulder between the acromion, the acromion process and the humerus. So once we've identified what the injury actually is, we can look at some factors that may help improve or speed up the healing process. Often, a huge factor is better quality sleep. Even though sleep isn't directly related to shoulder pain, we know that one or two nights of interrupted sleep will disrupt the blood sugar levels, will increase the stress hormones, and make soft tissue injuries heal more slowly. We wanna talk about the chemistry within the shoulder, within the musculature of the rotator cuff. The, the process in the body that heals connective tissue is the immune system. And if the immune system isn't able to do its job because it's dealing with other things, we're not gonna heal as quickly. So anything that changes the chemistry, allows the immune system to work more effectively, has the potential to increase or speed up the healing process. And then finally, we wanna look at the possible causes of the injury. So if I'm doing something, if it's something in my lifestyle, if it's something in my work or in my, my leisure activity that's perpetuating the injury, keeping it there, I might look at changing or modifying some of those behaviors. So if a certain movement or activity that I have to do at work increases or exacerbates my symptoms, if I can modify that behavior for a while while the rotator cuff heals, now I can speed up the healing process and I can get back to doing thing, the things that I wanna do. So guys, if this kind of content is helpful for you, if you're looking for answers to your questions, the best way that I can help share my information is if you post your questions in the comment below this video. Let me know what your questions are. Let me know what you're thinking, what your frustrations are. My name is Anthony Maritato. I am a physical therapist and I'm here to help direct you to the information you need.